Yo, what's up guys, it's Griffin here, and today I'm going to talk about how to keep interest in Destiny and how to not get bored of Destiny and quit. Um, with the new expansion coming out, this obviously isn't relevant information because we're going to have tons of stuff to do for at least a good two, two weeks to a month, but after that, you know, um, interest starts to wane and I kind of have some tips that will like allow you and your friends to be able to play the game longer and just like not get as bored and quit as fast. I I have been playing so I've been playing since the alpha. Sorry, I'm doing this all in um I'm just doing it all all in one take. I'm not actually writing a script because fuck it. So yeah, I've been playing since the alpha and I've quit like three times. So I have quite a bit of experience of what I do to make me not quit and what I do that makes me quit. Um, the first major thing is you're going to want to do more than just your weekly and daily activities. If you hop on every week and just do your weekly stuff and never do anything else, hop on every day, do your daily mission, daily crucible, and get off, you're going to get burnt out quick. Um, it's going to be over. Also, don't like force yourself to do them if you don't want to. Say like you don't feel like doing the nightfall for the week, just don't do the nightfall for a week. You don't have to do it. No one says you have to do anything. And like, don't stress about it. Um, I know one of the main things about Destiny is keeping up with the light level that's like the current highest but honestly just do what's fun man do whatever you want to don't force yourself to do one activity because honestly sometimes even just doing a nightfall and you don't have any friends to do it with can take like two and a half hours finding a group and all that it's just better just to say no for the night you know wait for wait for some friends to come on and do it with them and it'll be a much enjo more enjoyable experience try uh you, you want to try challenging yourself in this game this is the the most important thing for me that allowed me to keep my interest in this game was like doing challenges and whatnot um like i have a, a little note here i.e solo crota with weird weapons or setups yeah so <clears throat> one of the biggest things i did that between like periods of expansions where i was still playing but i didn't really want to play and i was just kind of bored is i would just solo crota with like weird setups or do it no hud you know just stuff like that and that really um, allowed me to have fun in my own way because I'm, I'm really more of a solo gamer which I hate because I, I I'm not like the most social person when it comes to playing games I like to just like chill by myself have like a stream or a video on in the background and just play the game but with Destiny it's hard to do that because so many of the activities actually take friends and friends are hard to make in this game um, yeah well at least like good re reliable friends so yeah do like solos set your own challenges this game is really like when you think about it, it's an open sandbox where they give you a few activities and you can use whatever you want at your disposal to complete those activities. You don't have to use the top meta gear all the time, you know? So yeah, like I said, you want to have a solid group of friends. This is the hardest thing in Destiny to do, is to get at least two friends who, whenever you're on, want to play with you. Um, I know this is at least the hardest part for me. I, I got... Um, my main person I play with in this game is Jason, or his name's Miyagi on the on PSN. Him and I do a lot of stuff together. We just kind of fuck around together. It's pretty fun. I also have a few people I met through him that I play with as well. We have about like five or six of us. So if all of us are on, we could do a raid. But usually it's only around two or three of us on at one time. So we have to like get other people for raids and stuff. But yeah, we want at least two friends. Um, and don't always just like play with friends to do activities just play friends to hang out talk you know just like imagine like you're just chilling in a park and just talking but instead of chilling in a park you're chilling in the tower or you're chilling in the cosmodrome you know you're like go do random patrols on random planets or not even just patrols just go roam around planets and like explore stuff that you've never seen before that that is honestly i have spent so many nights just doing that with a, in like a fire team of one or two just running around random planets looking at stuff it's been and just talking it's actually really enjoyable Never play Crucible by yourself. You will get frustrated as shit and quit much faster than you would normally do. The ma main reasons I quit is because I get bored of the PvE activities. Or not bored of them, I, I like finish all the PvE activities and then I don't have any friends on so I go and play Crucible and I get pissed off. And then I start stop doing less and less Crucible. I stop getting more angry at the game. I stop playing the game as much. Just it's like a, it's a it's a vicious cycle when I start playing Crucible by myself. And it's really annoying because that's those are the only Grimoire cards I need left are the Crucible ones. But it's so fucking frustrating to play it by yourself. I can't do it. So when you're playing Crucible, always have at least one friend. It makes the experience so much better. You can actually have laughs and whatnot. 
when you're by yourself and you're concentrating against these sweaty motherfuckers using thorns, shotguns. I had someone yesterday pull out a Fell Winters on me. What the hell is that, bro? Use something else for once in your life. It's just, it's so frustrating, man. Don't, never play Crucible by yourself, please. Um, one of the biggest things also is if you don't like, if you don't feel like playing Destiny, just don't play Destiny. You know, forcing, forcing yourself to do something is the fastest way to not like that something. You know, if you're playing Destiny every day, not because you want to, but because you feel you need to stay on that grind, quote unquote, then you're just setting yourself up for failure and you're going to hate yourself. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to play Destiny, don't play Destiny. Um, I actually like helping out people in Destiny, like running running through shit. Even though I say like I'm kind of like an antisocial person when it comes to video games, I really do enjoy helping people out in like activities. So one thing I do do is I one, do do one thing I do like to do is go on LFG, look for groups where they're unexperienced, they don't know what's doing, especially with Vault of Glass and Crota Zen, because I I love those raids. Not prime, not so much with King's Fall. That's kind of a shit show to do with just random people, but. Vault of Glass and Crota Zen just with like a random LFG where they're just like brand new players. It's actually really fun to do and you feel like a beast because you're just like running these people through this raid and you're like, I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm a guide right now. It's pretty cool. Um, this has probably kept my interest the most in Destiny besides doing Crota solos. You want to set a major goal. Um, one, obviously achievable. I know you've probably heard throughout your whole life, set goals, set goals. But this is just like, it's not like insane. Like you can have one where you want to get all the pieces to a set of armor, or you want to get a specific shader, or you want to get a specific emblem, or you want to complete the, the list of quests that you never completed because they're all fucking bullshit and no one wants to do them ever. So you just want to get them out of the way, but you don't ever do them, even though you set this goal every single week, but you never do them. I still have a bunch of quests I've never done. Um, but yeah, to set goals, it's honestly kind of enjoyable to just like have like a list of stuff that you want and you know slowly work at it. A lot of the stuff that, a lot of goals I know that people set are like getting specific gear, getting exotics, that you can kind of work towards it, but that, that really just happen over time. Um, probably like the main goal that people have in Destiny is to get every piece of gear, all at max light, all characters max light, and then you you've quote unquote beat destiny. You know, that's like the that's like the overarching goal. Not many people do it because most people die and get bored before they do it. But you know, that's like the that's the main goal you can go towards if you want to. Don't take your time too seriously when playing Destiny. Destiny players are obsessive, bro. If you are not addicted to doing the same shit every single day, you're probably gonna quit sometime. You know, everyone quits. It's not even quitting, you're just taking a break. Like, that's really what quitting is. You're just stopping because you've had enough for a while. But yeah, um, don't take Destiny too seriously. Let's see. What did I write here? Destiny players love to do as much shit as they can on a given day and repeat that every week. Yeah. It's a lot more enjoyable to space out the activities throughout the week instead of busting it all out on, Mon or on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then, like, wondering what the fuck you're going to do with the rest of your life until next Tuesday. So just space it out, you know, do maybe one one raid every second day, and then for the rest of the day, maybe do a nightfall, hang out with some friends, you know, do do some do some like VIP kills on fucking Jupiter. Just have some fun, man. Um what else did I write? Or if you don't feel like doing anything for the rest of the day on Destiny, don't force yourself to play it. Get off. Do something else. If you keep forcing yourself to play it, you're not going to want to play it. That's how it is. Sorry, I'm like burping while I was speaking that. Most importantly, don't be scared to take a break from the game. This is... People... What people do is instead of noticing when they're stopped, when they start like not liking to play the game, they just keep playing because they want to stay on that grind. They want to keep busting their light up, even though they're not enjoying the activities they're doing or they're not having fun. And then... They get to where they want to be, and then they just hate the game for their like for like six months, man. I did it once. I did it the first time. This is like the first time I quit. I did that. Actually, no, it was the second time. It was after um, Taken King. Yeah, I. After, it was actually like Trials of Osiris came out, and I was just grinding for no point. I didn't enjoy playing, and then I started hating Destiny, and I stopped playing it for a long time. If you notice when you're not having fun, 
and you are getting bored of the activities and whatnot and you notice that right away and you take a break the break will last like a week maybe and then you want to play again because you didn't burn yourself out so hard so if you're able to notice when you are getting burnt out and take the break before you like, just hate the game and quit that's the best because everyone takes breaks it's just the thing now luckily this game is really easy to get back up to the max light it's not like a game like world of warcraft where if you quit for like an expansion or so it'll literally probably take you a good two months to get back up to the to top tier in this game there are events all the time well not all the time they're pretty semi-frequent that help you get like your light back up um like when um what was it king's fall or when taken king came out the light was 320 right then April update came out and it was 335. So all those people that grinded for 320, their asses off for it, were just kind of like left in the dust. Cause people that came back like a day after April update came out, they were 335 within like no time. And then they didn't have to worry about grinding 320. So it's just like, do what you want to do with this game. Honestly, don't stress about getting max light all the time. Cause there's constantly updates. Max light is never, max light is never the same for like a, a period of maybe four months. Max Light always increases. And that's the fun of it. That's why people come back. And that's why this game is really easy to come back to after you take a break. Yeah. So I hope some of these points, or sorry, I hope some of these points helped you or maybe triggered, triggered, maybe they triggered something in your mind where it was like, you know what, I should start doing that. Maybe that'll help keep my interest. Or maybe I'm the only one that is un uninterested in this game and quits. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not though, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people go through the same thing where, with this game where they just lose interest and they start quitting and they start taking breaks, but that's okay, don't worry about taking breaks, taking breaks is just part of it, you know, it's part of the experience. You will, if you ever played a game where you take breaks and you come back to it, don't think that's the last time you're going to take a break and you're definitely sure that's not the last time you're going to come back to it after that break. You will always come back to it after you take a break. Yeah, it's just, it's just how it goes with a game like this. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.